You see Mr. T? All that jewelry, Mr. T? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It came from Bishop. Bishop? Hmm. Really? Jewelry. How does how did it, I, I thought he was way you back. You know you owe Bishop that money. Take up that money. He owe money. He won't pay. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I want to ask Because it's a legacy. You're yeah, going to have to pass down. That's right. I want to go back, though. I want to go back to when you said you was in Las Vegas the night Tupac was killed. Mm -hmm. At the Tyson fight, Keefe D and all these guys going to jail all these years later is a surprising thing for me when I think about it. Mm -hmm. like, like, man, I thought that case was closed. They never, it was always gloomy. Just give me the spiel on how was the atmosphere that night after that had happened. Well, you know what? Before it happened, we was there, you know, and- uh, When the fight broke out and everything? When the fight broke out, we was there. I, I mean, let me tell you something too, I want to cut you off. But uh, who else was there was uh, Floyd Mayweather. He was there. Floyd Mayweather, he said, I'm going to be the first professional fight. And I remember Bishop said, get out of here, little punk. Get out of here. <laughs> and, and, and a friend of ours, may rest in peace, King Bean, said, come on, man, let's take a picture with Floyd Mayweather. So when he came to Chicago, years later, I said, hey, man, I'm the one you begged to take a picture with. And you don't want to take a picture with me now. So I remember when he first. He, he didn't was, want to take a picture with no, you? No, he didn't. He, why? When he came to Chicago because sometimes... Because he was he, big at that time. Yeah, that's right. So he got the big head. He got the big head. So that's why I'm, I'm telling you that night we was at there at the uh, the casino where I remember they kicked over the, 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 uh, the casino tables. They it was they were it was riding and they they told they told the place up. Y'all was in the vicinity. Y'all seen all this action going all on. All this going on. Real time. Real time. All this was going on. They told the casino up, man, and uh Everybody was running, screaming, and hollering and stuff like that. So when we heard about it, everybody was running in. And I said, "Hey, Tupac got killed." How long after that? How how long was it after that? Before you heard that? Yeah, you in the casino to hearing that. Well, we was in the casino, and when we we heard about it, and everybody it was, was still in the casino. Yeah, we was in the casino, but they was outside or somewhere, you know. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. from the time y'all never left the casino. No, we stayed. We stayed in the casino, you know. And no, but from the time the fight broke out to you hearing them come back to say he just got shot, was it like when 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 everything jumped off? We were still inside, you know. Everybody was going looking, peeking, you know. I, uh, most brothers and sisters, we all knows it. Yeah. People say, they knows you knows it too. So, you know, everybody was wanting to see what was going on, you know, and everybody wanted to meet Mike Tyson. Yeah, you yeah. You know, and I, 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 because we was getting ready to go. I'm listening to We you. was getting ready to go to the fight, but all the Muslim brothers uh, with Farrakhan, they was there on the security for Tupac, for, for Mike Tyson. So we was all going in the tunnel, and that's who we, we met, a Tupac. He, he, he had an army suit on, and we was going all down in, in the uh, tunnel, and I said, man, who is this wild dude? That was Tupac. He said, man, let Don Juan in. Let Don Juan in. Let the Bishop Don Juan in. Let him in. We didn't know who he was, but he knew, because Bishop cared, take, cares colors everywhere he go. So, uh, Tupac said, man, let him in, let him in, let him in. Because the brothers didn't want us to come in. So Tupac was wild. said, man, I shut this joint down right now. I shut it down. So Mike, Mike Tyson, he was getting ready to go on because we was all backstage with Mike Tyson. Getting ready to go on because he wanted Bishop Don Magic One to move when he moved. That's what Mike Tyson wanted, you know. And so he said, man, I'm going, I want Don Juan to go on with me. You know, we was all together, you know, but... Uh, that's how it went, man. Wow. So, you man, know. the last day of Tupac's life, y'all was right there. We, was right, him we was right there with him. Wow. And he really wanted some some players with him. Man, a lot of brothers, when they get around their wives, they don't know the pimps and the players. <laughs> but soon when Mama Lee, man, I'm going to tell you some, some, some rappers now, but I ain't going to bring their name up. They burn, they burn my friend phone up all day and all night, come over to his house. Man, open up the door, Bishop. Open up the door. They just man, they, they, man, they, they wore him to death. They, they, man, can I be at the next player ball? Oh, it's a lot of them come to the player ball. Big Daddy King, all of them. They yeah. come in. Every rapper you know 
have been to them player balls with us. So 50 Cent them, they got to respect the game, man. The bling bling, we brought it to the table. You know, Bishop, you see Mr. T, all that jury, Mr. T. Yeah, yeah, on, for sure. It came from Bishop. Bishop? Hmm. Really? Jerry. How does? How did? I, I thought he was way You know back. you owe Bishop that money. Take up that money. He owe money. He won't pay. <laughs> you know, Mister T was a good brother, but he came out of the neighborhood. One was working at Dean Bass at the time. You know, he was Bishop bodyguard at first. Really? Man. Who, Mister T? Yes, he was. Man, a lot. See, a lot of people don't know the history. Out of forty-eight years, mm -hmm. I've seen a lot. Wow. And now that y'all want to push up to the side, y'all would never push up us to the side because we're going to stay down. And what I was telling you, I thank God for Snoop Dogg again. Mm -hmm. Push me and help me. One of the rappers and a lot of them know they owe us now. When you think about like you guys being up here in Chicago and, and when we being in Texas, we look up here and we see the the, the way the whole setup is, we hear about the violence, and yeah. but we see, I hear about the pimping and yeah. I hear about the players and I hear about the macking. But about the gang wars as well. Too. How did you guys parallel that? It, it, how did you guys keep it separate? Well, I'm going to tell you this here. Number one, just like I said, look me up. Luxury Rental USA. USA. Luxury Rental, Rental USA. USA. Yeah. See, what I do sometimes, I may, I may put 10 Rolls Royce in front of my office. Pretty in the summertime. And every rapper in the town, come, they be in line, want to take pictures and shoot videos. I say, listen, who running everything? You? I'm gonna leave these cars out here. All y'all can shoot y'all videos. But uh, somebody scratch a cop, y'all not gonna get no more chance to shoot no videos. So they'll come on Lake Street to shoot their videos and everything and have a good time. And they put their guns down. And the police, I said, officer, don't mess with them. Leave them alone. They enjoying themselves, sir. Leave them alone. The police said, man, thank you for telling me that. But that's my job. But it's not your job just to mess with the young man. They ain't bothering nobody. Who caused Don't worry about who caused it. So you try to slow down and so cut the all, all I got the an organization, put the guns down, stop the killing. And so that's why Thug, he joined with me. When he come home, he's going to join in Chicago, our organization, for the Taylor Brothers, put the guns down, stop the killing. So that's where I come in at, man. I just, I grew up. And uh, uh, got my life together more, I can think better because I have influence on them young brothers. Right. Tell them, hey man, respect your mother and father. Put the guns down. And that, that's why I said, I like what Kenny doing. Kenny mm -hmm. doing a great job. Mm -hmm. You know, and just like you said, Houston, it's a lot going on. But when you come to Chicago, y'all got to check in with me. That's yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.